My name is Melissa Gilmore and I'm the local breast care nurse at Golden Valley Health. Um, the stats at the moment stand as one in seven women by the age of 85 will be diagnosed with breast cancer. Um, so it's really important at this time of year and, and going forward that we continue to do our monthly checks um, each month on a set date if we can and, and not stop doing that. So obviously this year has been really difficult with COVID and people are certainly very scared about going to the doctors and presenting when they have an issue. So um, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an idea about what services we actually have in the Golden Valley area um, that we can access without actually having to go to Melbourne and places like that, which obviously have had a higher COVID incidence. So today we're here at IMED um, and we're gonna have a chat with the mammographer, Kim Haps. Um, and she's just going to give us a bit of an idea about what services they've got here, the precautions that they've been able to take throughout COVID and what things we can do going forward. So I just want to have a quick chat about breast screen itself. Sure. Um, and if you can just let us know what, what's going on and what's available for the patients at the moment. Sure. Yeah, I understand this has been very weird times for a lot of people and people are uncertain about what they can expect during these times, but we are running breast screen as per usual. Um, we have made some changes though to try to make everybody feel more safe during this time and to be assured that you can continue with your screenings. You do not need to delay them. We have um, delayed and made our appointment times a little bit longer so that we don't have as many women here. We have got fewer people in the waiting area so we may only have one or two people here at a time often. Um, we do implemented a lot of additional cleaning in the change cubicles, the baskets that the ladies use, um, obviously the machines that we use, the touch points and things. Um, we just try to make it as safe as possible for everybody so that we have the least amount of overlap and you know you can come in and be assured we've been using masks before they were mandated by the government so um, that's just you can be assured that we're doing everything possible to make your visit a safe place for you. Fantastic. So the other thing I just wanted to ask is if patients do get recalled through breast screen, obviously people are very nervous about going to Melbourne. So do we have services here that allow patients to actually have their diagnostic services completed within the area so that they don't have to travel elsewhere? Sure. Um, to address that, we always prefer people to go to Melbourne if they're comfortable. They, as usual, are doing things there as well down at breast screen to make it safe for women. They've spread things out but we understand that there are people who are very nervous the reason for that is continuity of service we need to have all your information so if we were to continue following up with someone we need you to bring your previous films um, the report from the doctor and that sort of thing that's come from breast screen so that we're able to assess the appropriate area if we don't know what area they're concerned about we can't do follow-up but given that we have what we need we are able to do 3D um, or tomo mammograms, um, which is what would happen down at St. Vincent's with um, follow-up down there. We're able to do specialty um, mammo views. We're able to do biopsies and breast ultrasounds. All of that is done here. We do have top quality equipment, so you are not getting less than you would get in Melbourne as far as quality because we are regional, which is something people worry about. So. So my understanding, so if they do get a recall to breast screen and yes. they are really quite concerned about going down to Melbourne, yes. all they would need to do is actually present to their GP and their GP would actually write up the they diagnostic will, mammogram. Yes, they and need a referral and yeah. for diagnostic mammo and ultrasound, but they also need to get their imaging from breast screen. So they yes. need to let breast screen know, I'm not comfortable coming down. Can you please release a discharge packet? And that should include the picture, the diagram of what they're concerned about for the woman and then her actual images from the previous screening. So we have those to work off of. Fantastic. Thank you very much for You're your time welcome. today. And we look forward to seeing people here.